Find the exact value of each expression. In part A, find the exact value of cos 15 degrees. In this example, we will find the exact values of trigonometric ratios for angles that are multiples of 15 degrees. Fifteen degrees is not a standard angle on the unit circle. To find the exact value of cos fifteen degrees, we need to express fifteen degrees as a summer difference of two angles that do exist on the unit circle. Fifteen degrees equals forty five degrees minus thirty degrees. Now we write the cosine of fifteen degrees as cos forty five degrees minus thirty degrees. Bring up the sum and difference identities. Use the difference formula for cosine. Expand cos 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. Find the exact values of each trigonometric ratio. Multiply the fractions in each term. Add to get the exact value of cos 15 degrees, root 6 plus root 2 over 4. In part b, find the exact value of sine 5 pi over 12. This angle is not on the unit circle. Let's convert it to degrees so we can work with it more easily. Use the conversion multiplier 180 degrees over pi. The pi's cancel, giving us 75 degrees. We need to express 75 degrees as the summary difference of two angles that are on the unit circle. We can express 75 degrees as the sum of 45 degrees and 30 degrees, both of which are on the unit circle. We write sine of 5 pi over 12 as sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Bring up the sum and difference identities. Use the sum formula for sine. Expand sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Find the exact values of each trigonometric ratio. Multiply the fractions in each term. Add the fractions to get the exact value of sine 75 degrees, root 6 plus root 2 over 4. In part C, find the exact value of tan 195 degrees. We need to express 195 degrees as a summary difference of two angles that are on the unit circle. One hundred ninety five degrees can be expressed as a sum of one hundred fifty degrees plus forty five degrees, both of which are on the unit circle. Bring up the sum and difference identities. Use the sum formula for tan. Expand tan of 150 degrees plus 45 degrees. Find the exact values of each trigonometric ratio. Simplify. Get a common denominator in the numerator and denominator.
combine the fractions. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Cancel. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply. Collect like terms. Divide to get 2 minus root 3. This is the exact value of tan 195 degrees. Now we'll move on to part D. Given the exact values of cosine and sine for 15 degrees, fill in the blanks for the other angles. Begin with the given point. The cosine of 15 degrees equals root 6 plus root 2 over 4, and the sine of 15 degrees equals root 6 minus root 2 over 4. The next angle, 75 degrees, is the complement of 15 degrees, so the x and y coordinates are swapped. Recall that angles with a sum of 90 degrees are called complementary angles. By symmetry, the magnitude of the coordinates in quadrant 2 are the same, but the x values have opposite signs. By symmetry, the magnitude of the coordinates in quadrant 3 are the same, but the x and y values have opposite signs. By symmetry, the magnitude of the coordinates in quadrant 4 are the same, but the y values have opposite signs.